your WZBX pinpoint weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Showers and some strong to severe thunderstorms move through the Tennessee Valley during the later part of the afternoon, early into the evening. A lot of that activity has since come to an end, and Pinpoint Viper, for the most part, looking much improved this evening. Still picking up on a couple of light showers across northeast Alabama, but we're also watching some activity that's beginning to push its way into northwest Alabama. Some showers and thunderstorms. All of this is dropping southeast slowly, but as it drops southeast, it's also weakening just a little bit. Still, I think a couple of showers are going to remain possible over the next couple of hours for folks in Lauderdale, Colbert, maybe places like Lawrence County. I did get a couple of very nice weather photos this afternoon that I wanted to share with you. One was post thunderstorms, a very nice rainbow. Thanks to Joanna and East Limestone for sending me this fantastic shot of a rainbow uh, there against the field made for a very nice looking evening. And this one was Three thunderstorms, thanks to Maddie B for sending me this excellent photo. You can really see that cloud structure, that really nice shelf cloud as those storms were beginning to move in to their location. So thank you again for sending that to me. Both of our viewers actually texted me those weather photos and you can text me your weather photos as well. The number's right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. Text me your weather photo. I always love looking at them for one and two. You might just find it right here on WZDX News. The showers and thunderstorms we saw this afternoon through the evening were all thanks to a stalled out boundary continues to hang out to our northeast. Doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere for about the next 24 to 36 hours. By tomorrow morning, you can see some showers and thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley up into different portions of Tennessee and then extending far north up into Kentucky. We can zoom things in a little more locally and see that by the time you head out the door for work tomorrow morning, scattered showers and thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley. I think we're going to be dealing more with the showers as opposed to the thunderstorms. I don't think we're going to see the atmospheric conditions at this point on Wednesday morning to really see much in the way of any thunderstorm activity. Things begin to change though. Once we get to 12, 1 o'clock, then our atmosphere destabilizes a little bit and we're talking about more in the way of widespread showers and thunderstorms across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Uh, some of these thunderstorms could be strong or even marginally severe. The biggest threats, of course, going to be some very heavy rain. You see those darker reds. We're even getting into some of those purples. And then we're also talking about some gusty, potentially some damaging winds. We saw some of that this afternoon and this evening. A couple trees were uprooted. I also did see one report of a shed that was knocked over. Now this activity becomes more scattered once we get to Wednesday evening and then through the overnight. Now pay close attention to what happens on Thursday morning through Thursday afternoon. The stalled out boundary actually begins to drop south a little bit. Now I think that's actually going to end up displacing the showers and thunderstorms just a little bit to where it allows most of us to end up staying dry. Certainly some good news there because it also looks like we're going to pick up on a fair amount of rain by Thursday afternoon. Some of us looking at two and a half, three maybe even three and a half inches of rain. Have a good look at the next seven days. Continued opportunities for a little bit of rain through Thursday and Friday and even into the weekend. Otherwise, it's going to be warm this 4th of July. Got a high of 90 degrees, Connor. So much rain, Jordan. <laughs> so much rain, but we are going to get periods of dry time, especially as we head into the holiday weekend. Yeah, at least the holiday weekend's looking a little better. Yeah, it is. Handle that. All right, thank you, Jordan.